Are you guys struggling to make coins in Madden 24 Ultimate Team? Don't worry guys, I got you guys covered. I'm going to show you guys a really good coin method out there that you guys can make some coins. You guys probably already know which method I've been talking about. I've been telling you guys all, probably year long, that the best way to make coins currently in Madden is the Team Builder method. The reason why is people late this year in Madden, they don't care. They just throw, just buy the cards. They do not check how easy it is to complete the set. So if you guys know, the 89s to build the cards, you need 486s and 284s. And I was, earlier today, I was like curious, hey, is the team building method still working? Because I've lost already a lot of coins from with all these make rights and everything else, me trying gambling, I lost a lot of coins. Probably, probably like close to 800k. So we need to get those coins back. So this method looks like it works. So first things first, we need to buy 486s. As you guys will be doing the math here, three times four is gonna be 1,200 coins. 1,200 coins, 12,000 coins. And then you just need exactly 12,000. So normally I would recommend just try to filter down until you find one for at least under 2k around there. But personally guys, I'm gonna tell you straight up, just buy the cards for 3k. Just buy the cards and that's it. And now you need 284s. Look how cheap they are. Remember these things were used to be expensive. They're 1k. Meaning we can make a team builder for how much? 14,000 coins. That means we can make a lot of profit because you're probably wondering how much are the team builders selling for? If you actually check here, let's head over to the team builder section and show you guys exactly how much they're selling for. You're gonna notice here, you're like, oh, they only go for like 16, 20K, that's not a lot of profit. Look at it again. Only the first five are selling for roughly 16, 20K. The second row is 30K. So theoretically, those are people are just trying to make their coins, trying to get their coins quick as possible because they don't care because they did some stupid ass decision opening packs, most likely. So, all we need to do is make a card, check whoever's the most expensive, and sell it. As you guys will also notice, there's only 63 on items in the market currently. That means we just have to look around, check whoever's the most expensive, and sell it. That's all we need to do. That is all we need to do. And if they're selling for at the minimum 30k, and we do our math here, we're going to make, make close to at least a minimum 10,000 coins every single time these cards sell. That's a good amount of profit, a really good amount of profit. So I highly recommend go go ahead and do this method. Currently, I normally do the offense alignment, but I'm noticing that they're not selling for a lot. So we just have to keep on uh, filtering around until we find them for a good price. And it looks like my hair's already fucked up already. <laughs> well, we don't care about we don't care about how my hair is. All we care about is making coins. So let's head over. Let's go make our goddamn team builder. I bought a couple cards because I did some super decision opening packs like I told you guys other people did. And I'm one of those people. So what we're going to do is make our team builders. Look, that's also uh, that 4,500 coins because I was trying to see if the playbook method is still profitable. It's still profitable. So yeah. So right now we're going to be selecting the best one. Offense alignment, the Broncos. We're going to grab it. We're going to go to the auction house and we're going to post it up for eight hours for a total of, you guys know the, the drill. For at least 29,000 coins because 30,000 looks like a lot one coin under with 29,000 looks pretty cheaper and all we need to do post it for eight hours don't worry about it and it will sell and now we're gonna do it again and another my playbook starts so I guess the playbooks probably do make profit I haven't tested I'm gonna have to test it more see if the playbooks actually make coins but since how much coins you can make from just doing this I probably say this method is a lot better a lot better so overall we're gonna do it again we're gonna see which one. The, I do notice this 49er guy sells for a good amount of coins. This is one I usually normally tend to sell for. And we're gonna go to the auction house. We're gonna go to auction it. We're gonna put it for eight hours. You guys will see, oh, it's only for 20,000. 20, yeah, because there's no one on the block. So we're gonna be the only one on the block. 29K, post for eight hours, don't worry about it. We make coins. That is it. That is it. It's one of the easiest methods you guys can do in currently in the game for 10,000 coins. There's no sniping involved. Just go out there, buy the cards, you're good. That's all you can do. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other sets you could probably do that can make you play a good amount of coins too. I heard about the play, I'm not sure about the playoff one. I think that you said you can make like 20,000 coins profitable. I'm not too sure, I'll look into that. But that's pretty much it. That is the coin method. If you guys have any questions, put it in the comments chat, comment section down below, and that's it. If I if I went a little too fast, let me know and I'll, I'll break it, try to break it down in the comment section. And I'll see you guys next time.